Did you burn the stairs up on top? And welcome to Minecraft Gimpy. Oof, so responsible. There we go, I need one stair. And our oh, fence died as well. Oh, the great fire of today. Dreadful. Hmm. I could crap. Anything on fire? No, thank God. Ooh, okay. That's how you make fences, by the way. <laughs> if you're such a noob. Hopefully you're not, because you're watching this. No, 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 no. Stairs. Oh my god. There you go. Because now I have more stairs. Let's go on a hunting for holes. I could say I'm wrong. Um, that there. I need the wooden planks as well, I just remembered. Oh god, everything is on fire. Makes me want to cry. Oh, I'm misplacing blocks like an absolute moron. Let's go. We can do this, Jay. We can do this. Okay. New section. This is a ruby hack uh, handsaw. Where you make it, you need sticks. Um, in fact, I might make another one. You need a bit of wood. Take that stick. You need some iron and some rubies. Nah, 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 nah. Nah, nah, nah. You go to your crafting bench, like so. You put rubies on the. Is it rub? Hang on. Um. So I'm trying to remember how to do this one off by heart now. If I can't, then that's depressing. Okay, so it goes like that. Two like that. Hey! So that's how you make them. It's three sticks on top. Two iron. Two ruby. If you didn't get all that, pause the video. So now we have this ruby handsaw. And if... So, I'm sorry. I, I, get your asses here. Sick to death of you guys fapping. And you... You should know better, Dave. This is the, this is the problem. This is just inconsiderate and annoying. There we go. Silence. And there's a wisp. Um, there was a wisp in the floor. Then just ignore him. They are created by me putting too much viz into the air. But it should be fine. He says. Let me just make myself another sword. Sapphire sword. Ooh. This will be gorgeous. Oh no. There we go. Is something on fire again? No. Okay, my Windows is deciding to update. Blue sword. Mmm. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. It is a blue sword. Oh yeah. Oh. Oh, matron, it's a blue sword. Look at it. Oh, it goes very well in my hot pants. Mmm. Alrighty then. So, oh, and apparently this actually does something, but I don't know. Um, there's lots of stuff. There's, the, the, I'm just being bombarded with stuff. Okay. So, back to the handsaw. Have a handsaw, and what you can do is you can take... I'm going to use this cobblestone as an example you can take it to a workbench you can drop it in and depending on which way you do it you can cut the cobblestone in different meth in different ways you get two back so basically I'm cutting one in half so I can cut these up into half blocks those will go flat I'll show you those will actually go like a half slab that um, on the floor or up up so you can you know you can do that so as you can see I've got 
double of what I put in. This is why it's a good thing as well, because you get a lot out of it. Um, so then I can convert, say, 20 of them into thinner panels, in which I can then go thinner. So I can convert all them into even thinner panels. So I've got 40 of them there. Um, and you can put it on the side, which means you can make cover strips like this, which are basically poles. Um, and then you can you can do all sorts of things with this. You any you can basically just try the different methods. I mean, you can you can make some right intricate stuff with this. But I mean, I'm just going to convert a few of these and make maybe a cobblestone sofa to sit on outside and just throw my thing on the floor. I threw it on the ground. I don't need your handouts. I'm gonna make a chair that I can just watch from, watch my crops grow from. Oh yeah. Oh shit yeah. Okay, so. Ow! 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 There's two wisps. Oh no. They gone. Is it hit and run? I think it was a hit and run. It should be safe, I think. <laughs> Those are wisps. Uh, here we go. So, um, Wisps don't like you. I don't like you either. We wanted men. It's kind of like a weird ass chair. You know what, I'm going to break them. They can be broken like regular cobble as well. Which, again, is great. So let's scroll through the materials I've got. So let's let's put a base. Put a biscuit base. Oh. Let's put that there. Oh. Let's put that there. Put that there. Put that there. Look at that, it's a sofa. Oh yeah. Quite little pimples on it or something. Little corner bits. This is probably one of my favourite mods because of the endless possibilities and capabilities of it. Um, I mean, just look at what I'm doing here. I'm making a spiky ass chair. Look, built for a king, and they all act like proper, proper things. Look, if I go into crouch mode, oh yeah, see, see, look, look. oh yeah, it's a nice, nice chair. Oh yeah, see, oh, it's lovely. So that's my chair, built for king. Do I have any poles? Do I convert all the poles? I converted all the poles. And the ruby, uh, any hacks where you can make them out of ruby, sapphire, gold, diamond is one of the favourites, as you would expect. Uh, just It's it's just a thing, you know, you can just go, I've, I've got a diamond ruby, I've got a diamond hacksaw. But they, uh, they, again, they do have a, oh, Jesus Christ. So I now have Philip the angry militant wisp living in my house. See look at look at this, look at the detail. Oh yeah. Ow Ow Why are you so mean? Fly away. Now the reason why they have happened to have spawned is down to Charge! Ow. Ow. No, this won't be the end of me. Oh, oh my god. He's flown off, okay. So those guys are wisps. Wisps spawn as I was trying to explain earlier, they spawn due to flux in the air. Flux is created when you try to or create stuff out of magic. The more stuff you create out of magic, the more nasty stuff you get. You get giant zombies that can attack yes, giant zombies that attack you. Not just normal ones, giant ass zombies. That's you know that's 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 a thing. Um so you get them and I don't think there's a there is something that can pull flux out of the air. Um I think 
again it's all based on what I've watched so far on YouTube and what I've managed to get from it but you can pull it like have a like a filter that goes on to I think it's just called a flux filter so I'm just gonna go another chest this will be for my awesome stuff no not that stuff this stuff the hack store the hack store stuff so yeah so um is it a flux filter let's let's, let's search for it is it a flux filter flux filter yeah um how do you make that super lag um is it you or is it shift no is it is it, is it you oh E Q T that one that one oh what did that just do I don't know that was cool T sort your inventory apparently T if I move that here T Y Y Y sort your inventory um so basically the flux filter will as you make stuff it will fill up and filter out all the bad stuff all the flux in which then you can put into like uh you can put into little um, glass bottles which you can then store in um, vases or something um, or a vase depending on where you're from and with that you can then get th because the flux is like a waste product so you can have different types of um, chemi you can have different types of things in there like say you can have you know alo you can oh god Basically, you get waste stuff, which is an element of some sort, and that element then can be filtered out, and you can then put it into one of those vase things I was talking about, and then you can then reuse it. So it's like recycling the flux instead of using the flux, uh, well, like allowing it to go out into the into the world. It basically acts like emissions, how you would think of emissions to work. Basically. A, 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 a fil why is th oh. that's really annoying so yeah so basically that's that's how it kind of works I think it's another one that I don't know much about and I do hope you've enjoyed this and if it's been insightful in any way or form then please do go ahead. I haven't done much and I've done a lot of talking but I hope showing you how to make this alimentum can come in useful for you and I hope that you know using the covers and variations of the stuff of the hacksaw stuff can come in handy for you guys as well because I, I love it as a builder I absolutely love it but right now I'm going to go and do some more Xbox Minecraft stuff because we've done, we've had a massive push on the on the Minecraft Xbox 360 thing. I've had a bunch of my friends, like actual friends, come and help me build, and it's really looking good. Um, as soon as it's finished, I'll get Chris in to you know to do a video for you guys so you can watch it and hopefully you will enjoy as much as we've enjoyed making it because it's just been that that whole build's been a ride it's what been one huge ride because it's just there's so much stuff we've had to do and especially with no world editing stuff like on pc it's really difficult to do stuff on that but again that will all come in time and i hope you guys understand why i've been kind of disappeared lately and I will see you guys later. Peace.